Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Hamad and today I am back with another new video of drawing vector portrait from scratch. If you are new here, consider subscribing the channel as I am bringing a lot of new videos about vector portraits. This video is about how to outline your portrait. So without any further ado, let's get into it. First I'll create a new layer above the file I uploaded. If you are using Adobe Illustrator CC or above version, be sure to go to view and turn off snap to pixel and swipe the fill to stroke. Now using pen tool, start outlining the hairs. Draw the curves as smooth as possible and go back and forth if you don't like the result. Try to add transition on forehead. Always follow the reference photo. If you see any curve there, try to follow it. You need a lot of patience for that. So take your time to think where you should and what you should draw. Now swipe the stroke back to fill and start drawing the eyebrows. The technique here is same as the hairs. First analyze the photo and then draw accordingly. Now it's time for the eyes. For eyes, first outline the outer part and adjust the curve using anchor handles. Now using white stroke, try to draw inside the shape you already created and then send this shape to back. You can send the shape back by using control shift and left flower bracket. For eyeball, try using the ellipse tool and limit the ellipse to the white shape drawn previously. You can simply draw ellipse and select the white shape by holding control key. Now copy and paste the shape using control C and control F. Select the white shape along with the ellipse and by using pathfinder hit intersect. It's the third icon from top left. For detailed tutorial on eyes, feel free to check the link in description. Now add some highlights and shading. These all steps are explained in detail in their tutorial, so feel free to check that link. Also I have created a Facebook page where I will post recent updates about this channel along with some quick tips that I use while drawing vector portraits. So be sure to like that page, the link of that page is in the description. Thanks for watching the video, feel free to give thumbs up to the video and suggestions if you have in the comment section, as this will help me to bring quality content for you. The next video will be about the coloring and shading of the same image, so stay tuned and show me your support by hitting the subscribe button. Thank you.